Well, well, well. I'll tell you what. That was the perfect start for the Ralph Ragnick era at Manchester United. Man United 1-0 winners against Crystal Palace at Old Trafford. And if control was the word that we heard from Ragnick in the build-up to that game, that was the word he kept repeating. We saw that today in abundance. Manchester United 1-0 winners at Old Trafford, but it was the control of the game. I said at halftime, it felt like that sort of performance that we saw so often under Fergie, and this comparison, I mean, just those teams that came to Old Trafford, like Crystal Palace, where United were just knocking on the door, progressively putting pressure on teams, and it just looked and felt like the goal was inevitable. That's what happened in the first 45 minutes. The second half, we came out, we were a little bit flat. Crystal Palace got into the game, but Fred came up with a Fred with a right foot shot from outside the box. Utter sorcery. Man United with our first clean sheet at Old Trafford this season. And that's all come after one training session. Wow. That's all I'm going to say to that. Wow. There was nothing groundbreaking, really, about the performance of Manchester United. But we just haven't seen that sort of professionalism, that sort of coaching, that sort of organisation. So it feels groundbreaking for United fans. It shouldn't, right? That's what United should be doing to teams at Old Trafford. They should come to Old Trafford and not have much of the ball, not be able to get out of their own half. That's what United did do previously. That's what Old Trafford was famous for. And I'll tell you what, Ragnit, man, oh, that was impressive to see Manchester United doing that today after one training session. I was so excited about him coming in. I even put a goddamn angel on top of the tree. And he's delivered. St. Fred, Angel Ragnit. Ah, oh, man, come on. If you're not smiling after that game, I don't know when you'll be smiling because Manchester United, look, all season long, we've been up and down and up and down and up and down. But United, the last five minutes of that game, I was absolutely crapping myself. I was like, just hold out, hold out, please hold out. And we kind of a little bit, got a little bit of pressure towards the end, but United held out. We got that clean sheet, first clean sheet Old Trafford this season. We should only need one goal to win a game. We should just be keeping clean sheets. Fred. You beauty. Let's have take a quick look at the player ratings here over on SofaScore. They got Ed, Fred down as an eight. They've got Teller down as an eight, who played very, very well. Who was your man of the match? You can't not give it to Fred, surely. After that goal that he scored, wow, man. Manchester United today. That's all you got to do. It's just a round of applause. As I said, nothing groundbreaking, but we don't need Ragnick to be groundbreaking. We need him to come in and influence the system, start making the players think differently. And today the players thought differently. We did see that four triple two formation. We saw Fred and McTominay sitting as the two box to box midfielders. They weren't two holding midfielders, they were box to box. You had uh, Bruno and Sancho dropping and splitting wide. You had Rashford and Ronaldo up front. So not really the four two three one you can see there. And it worked. It just worked everywhere. It worked. I thought Harry Maguire had a fantastic game. I thought he was using his ability. He does. He's good at crossfield diagonals. And he was, he was just calm, composed, controlled. They're not the three C's of Ragnick's philosophy, but they were certainly the three C's of Manchester United's defence today. Calm, controlled, composed. All of them. Victor Lindelof. <laughs> that was definitely a yellow card on Zaha at the end. Diogo Delot, by the way, has played Wan-Bissaka out of the team, I would say. Fantastic from him in the last couple of games. Really good right back performances from him aggressive in the attacking sense and also not leaving too much space in behind scott mctominay and fred it worked in midfield today Jaden sancho probably yeah, he was a 6.5 i would say that's quite fair sancho didn't have the best of performances but look anthony elanga came on you're talking about what's Rangnick going to do with the youth elanga impressed in training elanga came on and got his first premier league appearance of the season exciting times ahead for manchester united but just to see i don't know to see Man United playing like a professional football team should. Like they know what they did in training that week and they came and they replicated it on the pitch. It shouldn't be too much to ask. And as I said, nothing groundbreaking. It's just that as United fans, we got used to going into a game and not expecting much. Not knowing what team we were going to see. Not knowing what sort of performance it would be. And today we didn't really know what sort of performance it would be because after only one training session, how much impact can Rangit really have? Clearly, far more than I think we thought he could. Absolutely incredible to see that sort of organisation for the full 90 minutes after only one training session. These players, this squad, should have been capable of challenging for the Premier League this year. And I hesitate to say if we were, if we were that 
well, I don't know. If Rangnick was there at the start of the season, maybe we could have that conversation judging by that. I'm not going to go over the top with hyperboles because it was only one performance. But just to see that level of performance after only one training session blew my mind. But I've got to speak about Fred, man. I've got to speak about Fred. He was absolutely fantastic today. Fred has been arguably man of the match in the last three games now. And Fred's score from outside the box with his right foot. Mate, that guy couldn't hit a barn door from four yards. And he's going and bending a lovely finesse finish into the top corner with his, with his off foot. What are you talking? That's pure sorcery. Fred's been sensational. Uh, somebody who was scapegoated by a lot of United fans for so, so long. But a player that we all know is going to really thrive in this system under Rani. And today we saw exactly why. Maybe he's going to be paired with someone like Haidara from Leipzig. Maybe not McTominay. Let's see what goes on there with Paul Pogba. But just looking at Fred's performance, wow. Fantastic from him. And Ronaldo, we were definitely putting more crosses in today. It's something I've wanted to be seeing from Manchester United this season. And Diogo Delot certainly is better than wan Saka in that sense. I thought Rashford played quite well as well overall. Everybody, every man, apart from maybe Jaden Sancho. And that's not me scapegoating Sancho. I'm saying just compared to the levels of others. But just the utter organisation. That is the biggest... That was the biggest thing I was going. I said before the game, I said, look, you can't expect too much of a change in terms of the personnel. And there wasn't a change. It's the exact same team that played Arsenal. But take yourself back to what happened a couple of days ago against Arsenal. Just pure chaos. Pure chaos in defence. We conceded two, could have been a lot more. Pure chaos in defence. Today, just the, the modicum of control, of composure of the players, they seemingly knowing what they are doing and what they are should, where they should be on the pitch, what they should be doing. Man. How, 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 how has that happened after one training session? How has that happened after three days? It makes no sense. And maybe they've always had it in them. I don't know. But certainly what we've seen today is a real impact of coaching. And we all knew it was a bit of a shortfall of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's repertoire. We always knew he was a great personable person. Uh, bringing, uh, there were certain aspects to his game management that worked. But certain aspects didn't, tactically and from a coaching perspective, definitely not. And United today, wow, that level of control, man. Old Trafford hasn't seen that for years. As I said, that's why I compared it to what, ha what happened when teams came to Old Trafford under Fergie. Your Crystal Palaces, your Norwich, your West Brom, just games. You're, just, you're watching the game, you're like, it, it's just inevitable that Manchester United will score. I'm waiting for United to score. And maybe that wasn't the feeling in the second half because it did go a little bit flat, but he made the changes. Greenwood came on for Sancho. Uh, who else came on? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, uh, Van der Beek came on for, for Bruno Fernandes, but that was in the 85th minute. That was after the game sort of went away. Man, oh man. That's a new look United, man. That is a new look team. That is a team that is coached, that was disciplined, that was organised, that knew what they were doing, that were confident and patient enough. You know, it wasn't like we were crapping ourselves in that second half. It's like, no, continue what we did in the first half. Keep it going. Keep going forward. We will eventually get the goal. And Manchester United eventually got the goal. Not a goal that anybody would have expected. Fred is the first goal scorer of the Ralph Ragnick era. And I'm so, so excited. If that's what we can see after, after one training session, what can we expect to see against young boys? Maybe we're going to get some rotation in because, uh, I don't know, maybe he wants to try other players. I don't know. But we definitely saw the 4 triple two, right? That was definitely part of today. And that's the formation I wanted to see. That's, that was my predicted 11 of Ragnik when he took over. And clearly it's something that works inside this team. But, mate, big, big smile on my face from that performance today. Every single player, they knew what they were doing. They were coached well. It was obvious that what happened on the training ground was replicated on the pitch. The players, they had more confidence in their own positioning. They had more confidence in where their teammates were going to be. And there was, as I said, there was a patience. There was a, an, an, inner, an inner confidence from United today that, no, just keep going. Keep going and what we're doing and we will score. And that's what happened. Ralph Ragnick, man. Wow. That is a hell of a start. And the clean sheet, man. The first clean sheet at Old Trafford. That's where the control comes from. You only need one goal to win a game if you keep a clean sheet. I had to, you know. Uh, duh. But, <laughs> but United don't keep clean sheets. It's our first one at Old Trafford this season. But to get the clean sheet and the goal and the control, it was basically a masterclass. It was exactly what we, that was a perfect performance. For the first game in charge, that was the perfect performance. We didn't need a, a flourish of goals. We just needed one and control the whole game. That's what we got. Now, I'll tell you what, if that is the start of it, I can't wait to see where this goes next. <laughs> who was your man of the match for me? I've got to give it to Fred for sure. But who was yours? 
you let me know in the comments below. Make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe because the Rangnick era is going to be exciting if that is the first game to go by. I can't wait to see what's coming up next. Take it easy, everybody. Up the Ragnik regs for sure.